preparing food and wine is a very sensitive subject with unclear and sometimes even questionable rules. Even at this stage, it is essential to develop a personal portfolio of sensory memories to be able to pair wine with food automatically. Like any other product, wine has a chemical composition and often in a wine we can find several different components. The reason for matching food with wine is to create a certain harmony between the basic components of a dish and the ones of a wine. To satisfy this increasing need, in the latest years a new type of wine restaurant has appeared, where the matching is suggested by the qualified waiters as they sell high quality wines by the glass with the possibility of changing wines at every course. In order to match a specific wine with a particular dish, we must necessarily have a good knowledge of both. The only rule that is certain is that in any combination, the two components must not dominate the other. For this reason, the first component to consider is the structure. There are basically two ways to achieve a suitable match. Matching by association and matching by compensation. Matching by association. The combination by association is quite easy to achieve and it becomes a rule when we are pairing a dessert. The residual sugar of the wine should reflect the same sugar content of the dessert. To give a clear example, an extra dry sparkling wine goes well with a summer fruit salad, especially with peaches and strawberries, and it is also excellent accompanied with custard. Sweet wines with a stuck fermentation are suitable to be paired with sweet soft cakes and sweet wines from dried grapes are suitable for more consistent desserts, such as jam tarts and pastries in general. Matching by compensation the combination by compensation, instead, requires the need to balance a predominant component of a dish. For example, if there is a predominant taste hint of softness in a dish, as in the case of pork salami chops, it is necessary to pair a wine with the ability to clean up the palate from the effects of grease, an action that could be performed by a wine with a remarkable acidity and by an aggressive tannin. If you want to pair a more intense flavored dish, such as a Rust Game Speciality, after identifying the structure of the dish, it is necessary to curb its most extreme components. In this case, they are represented by the strong taste of that specific kind of meat. The ideal wine to be paired should be a full-bodied red, rich in smooth tannins generated by a long aging in a barrel to act on the palate, mitigating the features of the dish but not dominating it. Almost everybody knows the course rule of pairing white wines with fish and red wines with meat. It is not basically wrong, but before matching the color of a wine, we need to consider all the other features, such as structure, acidity, flavor, sweetness, and especially the nature of the hints of a certain wine. To easily break that popular rule, just think of how a complex white wine aged in a cask is perfectly paired with roast beef and seafood soup is perfect with a fresh gamay. Another popular rule tells us that the best pairing is always achieved with traditional dishes and wines from the same region, but it is not always true. Before relying on popular rules, it is better to think and make a little analysis of the characteristic of the dish and the wine. As a final consideration, remember that the wine should not always be the second choice. It can also be interesting to first decide with other diners which wine you want to drink and then decide which food you want to pair with that wine.